Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. This video, we're going to be acquiring the D5 Copperhead and getting a little bit of gameplay with it. It's, in a, legend, it's a legendary uh, assault rifle. To get this, you have to go here on the map. It's like the Outlands, the bat. I'm a street kid, okay? I did the street kid path, so all of this stuff, I don't know. I'm a city kid, all right? <laughs> so this is like the Badlands or the Outlands or the Nomad Lands. I don't know what they call it out here. But if you're a corp or if you are a a street kid that's not familiar with this area, you get introduced this like around this area in a mission called Ghost Town. So if you already did that mission, you probably already have this gun shop. I'm, I think you already have it even, even if you don't complete that mission or not even like beginning of the game. But the requirements to get this gun, you have to be, sorry guys, I spit a little bit. So you have to be level 19, and I believe you got to have a street cred over 15. And you also have to got to have $67,000 in the bank. So, I don't know why I said bank. Alright, so let's go make our way over to the gun shop. I kind of went off a little bit because I was trying to show you guys but yeah here's the gun right here i have the gun already it's just i literally just purchased it but i found out i wasn't recording and i'm checking to make sure i'm recording now so i already purchased the gun so i can't you know give it back and purchase it. well i kind of can do that but i don't want to do that so let's just go over here i'm just going to show you guys where to find it so you get it from here see and you just oh look he still has it oh it's 70 Oh, this is a different version from mine. Oh, I'm about to buy this one. This is this is way more. Uh. Oh, okay, this is way better. So look, let me just show you guys the, the perks on this one. So the one the one I'm about to buy, is 25 to 31 thermal damage. So if you want to add like a thermal scope on it, uh, you get 20 uh, plus 25 damage for that. Uh, it has a 21% crit chance, 8% bonus ricochet damage, a 10% burn chance. That's pretty good. Uh, 1.5 headshot multiplier. Okay, so I actually might buy this. I have enough money. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And can I sell my old one back to him? Or no? Maybe not. So yeah, let's uh, go take a look at this. So yeah, I bought it for 79000 so that's that's my old one at 240 DPS, and here's my new one at 253. I can't I can't add it until I'm outside of the safe area. I was wondering. I thought my game was like uh, glitched or something. I found out you got to be outside the safe area to like switch weapons and stuff. All right, that should be fine now. All right, so so yeah, 253 now, and this is my old one at 240. As you can see, it's not much of a change. I mean, you just get... This one is more physical damage. This is thermal. I get bleeding chance in this one, uh, my old one, and burn chance in my new one. I kind of like both of those. So, I mean, it's fine with me. Let's go ahead and add a scope to it. I'm a huge fan of these type of scopes right here. This gimlet eye. <laughs> gimlet eye. Oh, that's gimlet eye. Gim... Gimlet Eye. I don't know. But I'm a huge fan of this one and also this one, the Sake Eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the Sake Eye on. Actually, I'm going to put this one on. And if you want to put a silencer on, you can, but I don't recommend it because, I mean, come on. Like, you, you're taking away 5% crit chance and also reduces your damage by 25%. Like, when, and look, this one reduces by 30%. So unless it's like a legendary, um, legendary silencer that probably reduces by like five or some shit, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. But yeah, let's uh, go get some gameplay with this. All right, guys. So we're going to go do this assault that's close to this fast travel point. I just, so this one right here is moderate. I could do probably do a hard one. I don't think I'll be able to do a very high one. But I'm just gonna do a moderate, a moderate one because that's that's like the recommended skill level you need to be playing anyway. So 
once you get your, your all your stuff up, your DPS and everything, those very highs will turn to moderate. So I don't rec really recommend playing those the very high stuff unless you really need to. So I just stick with moderate. That's what I'm doing. So if it says very high, I'm not doing it unless I get my DPS, get my armor up and everything. So Alright, so yeah, let's get some uh little I love this one. Yeah, I love that gun. It feels amazing. I wish I had a longer clip. I wish the clip was a little longer. Can I add like a extended? I, I still don't know if I can add extended like mags on here. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, this gun is nice. It feels amazing. Yeah, this, this feels so good, guys. Yeah, this feels nice. Yeah, that, this is probably moved up to one of my my second favorite gun. My first favorite gun is the LMG Defender. I love that gun. All right, let me go complete this assault right quick. All right, there we go. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. A little quick video just to show you guys where to purchase this gun and how much it is and which the requirements for it. And a little bit of gameplay with it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And please like and subscribe. And peace out.